You know the feeling. You just had a long day. You finally laid down. And you remember, you need to wash your face. You don't feel like getting up. But you know that you should really do it at the same time too. You're just sitting there going back and forth. Should I do this? But wouldn't it be so much easier if I just laid here? That going back and forth is how you are going to decide what your future will look like. When that happens, you're going to think about how much you don't want to do this thing, but you're going to do it anyway. It's more than that. Falling in love with showing up for yourself and caring about that more than how much you don't want to do the task in front of you. If you want to be the dream version of yourself, you have to do the work. You're going to learn how to be disciplined and how to love being devoted to yourself. The version of you that has the life of your dreams is waiting for you to take the steps to manifest her into reality. Let's get into the tools to get you there. Hi guys, welcome back to Gratitude with Gracie. If you're new here, we're learning about becoming the best versions of ourselves and learning how to operate out of love for ourselves. Today, we're going to talk about how to stop relying on motivation. Stop arranging your life and your priorities and your goals around if you feel like you're going to do it in that moment or not, and not having that amount of trust in yourself. You can't rely on just motivation. You can't rely on just motivation. Motivation is constantly fleeting. If you are waiting around for you to just get inspired by motivation for you to do something that you're putting off, it is more likely that you are just going to have a lot of dread about that. You're going to put it off even more. It's going to become an even bigger task. When the time rolls around where that task realistically should have been done, it's going to feel more stressful and you're going to have less of a trust in yourself that you're going to do things and have more procrastination and dread in the future. All of your tasks just become harder and that's not what you're looking for. We're not trying to do that. We're about making our life as easy as possible, about being as happy as possible, and making our goals as attainable as possible. This is not the way to do that. You don't want to dig yourself deeper and deeper into this hole of procrastination and self-doubt. This is where discipline comes in. We are going to learn how to trust our own word. And when that happens, what you say you will do, you will actually do. You then have the power to take the thoughts in your dreams and your goals in your head and have it actually be in your reality because you set out to do it and you trust that you will do it. So when you set goals, you know that they're going to happen for you. And then you're able to be the creator of your own destiny. You understand the sense of control you have around your own life, your goals, and you feel disciplined. And you only have to do one thing to make sure all of that happens. And that one thing is to do everything that you say you will do. That's it. It sounds easy enough, right? And it can be just that easy. Following up everything you tell yourself that you're going to do, being committed to it, and following through with action. But you have to be 100% committed to yourself. You have to do things when you're not always feeling up to it, even when they're hard or inconvenient or uncomfortable in that present moment. And you have to prioritize being happy in the future over being comfortable right now. You have to fully understand that when you say you're going to do something, you are now creating a contract, a negotiable contract between your present self and your future self. Because you know that both versions of yourself can only control what's in front of them. And then comes the moment when your future self becomes your present self. And you will feel one of two ways based on if you showed up for yourself or not. You will feel stronger. You will feel accomplished. You will have more of a bond between your past, present, and future self. It was the present version of you is now your past version of yourself. And having that bond between the past version of yourself, the present version of yourself, and the future version of yourself will be the difference in setting yourself up for success or failure, choosing happiness over comfort, being disciplined and having trust or not. Or on the other hand, feeling really unfulfilled, feeling really let down and disappointed. And then your trust with yourself is lacking even more because you said you were going to do this and you did it. You weren't able to show up for yourself now. And the next time you try to show up for yourself, it's even harder because you didn't take yourself seriously last time. You didn't look at yourself as good enough of your own efforts. 
and that sticks with you. Trust with yourself is more important than your trust with the people around you. Being committed to yourself is a high risk, high reward situation. It can take you to the highest of heights or the lowest of lows. And the only difference between being the most accomplished version of yourself and the most dissatisfied version of yourself is the amount of effort that you put into your goals. Are you going to achieve them? Are you going to work towards them? Are you going to see yourself as worthy of your own efforts. And this is why it's so important to set realistic goals. If you're watching this video starting at root zero and you're like, Gracie, I know I don't have trust in myself. This all just feels really overwhelming and stressful. And every single time I try to do something, I just get stressed out and the cycle continues. And that's hard. And I've been there and that's okay. I know that is a hard place to be. But if you're watching this video and you want to put effort into that and you want to achieve your goals, you want to be able to provide for yourself and set up the future. Go to your very foundational base. You need to start by making sure you have that trust. Find every way you can to build that trust with yourself. Set three realistic goals that you can do every single day for a week. Dedicate that you are going to do this for yourself and be committed to it. Prove to yourself that you can show up for yourself. Prove to yourself that you will show up for yourself. And these tasks can be as simple as making that appointment that you've been putting off, leaving your space a little better than when you've left it. Or just taking the first step on a goal that you've been wanting to work on for a while that you've been putting on the back burner. Set something really, really small, a tiny achievable step that you will be able to do that day realistically, knowing what else you have going on today. What is your energy level that day? Learning how to take your environment into account as factors of when things will be more successful rather than deciding when you just aren't going to do things all together because of your environment. Set those three goals every single day at the beginning of each day and at the end, check them off for a week. Get up in the morning, write them down. Having actual pen and paper really does make a big difference because checking it off will get so much dopamine in your brain and seeing what you actually have set out to do and then looking back physically and knowing that you've done it will triple that sense of accomplishment and pride and deepen that connection starting at the very base. And then after you do that for a while, oh my gosh, it feels so good. And chasing that excitement of knowing that you can do that will be motivation enough. You don't need motivation anymore because you're disciplined. You will show up for yourself because you do every single day. And if you don't do anything else except for those three things, great. Be proud. You set up to show up for yourself and then you did. And then you're disciplined. And then your life is in your own hands. You are not at the mercy of others. Showing up for yourself takes a lot of effort, care, and hard work. You are choosing the discomfort of working towards your goals before you achieve them, or you're choosing the discomfort of knowing that you never even tried and you will never be able to accomplish your goals and you will never show up for yourself. There are such extremes because that's how it feels when you let yourself down or you show up for yourself. It's a measure of how you really care about yourself, how you really feel about yourself, what your self-worth really is. Do your actions line up with what you say you will do? Because subconsciously, you're paying attention to that. You must use discipline over motivation in order to have control over your life, your goals, and your future. Once you choose discipline over motivation, you have control over your whole entire life and become a creator of your own destiny and know that you will show up for yourself rather than being let down. You must choose discipline over motivation, but what's more than that is choosing devotion over discipline, being devoted 100% to yourself over being disciplined. In theory, you can make a laundry list of really easy things that mean nothing to you and check them off. And yes, you will have accomplished that, but you won't feel fulfilled. Being devoted to yourself is taking the time to get to know yourself. Being devoted to making this life experience the very best that you can. When we're making these goals, we want them to further our future self. We want to be able to make sure they're not so overwhelming so we aren't able to feel present. And we want to do it so we don't harbor resentment towards our past self, acting in harmony with our future, present, and past self. Because within yourself, you now have a community of people who are devoted to each other, to show up for each other. And now you're 
past, present, and future versions of yourself are all in competition to make your life the best it can. Your trials and tribulations are how to add value to your life and not to sit in misery and being in self-doubt or pessimism. We don't want to overwhelm ourselves with goals that don't mean anything to us. These goals should be something that we really know that we want to do. Something that is going to give us lifelong fulfillment, something that's going to teach us about ourselves and make our day to day better, to make our relationships stronger, to come out as better people. Another really important thing to note is measuring your days in presence rather than productivity. You could find a million things to do and always run out of time. But how present are you being? What does this mean to you? Being devoted to yourself means romanticizing the process and being in love with the process and being excited to take care of yourself, being excited to accomplish new goals, to follow through to yourself, being excited to learn how to show up for yourself more, being in love with yourself and wanting to just give the best life that you can to yourself because you know that you deserve it. And you're going to do that for yourself because you have that deep care and you put in the hard work every single day to make sure that outcome is going to happen. So when you set these realistic goals, all you have to do is follow up with what you say. What you set out to do and what you call into the world and what you ask of yourself, having that conscious effort every single day to show up for yourself and telling yourself you're committed to making your life experience better shifts your brain to love taking care of yourself, to know that you are really operating out of a place of love. You really will do anything you can for yourself. And that's something that I can't teach. You can listen to me and you can hear all of what I'm saying and do whatever you want and not show up for yourself. You are the only one who can show up for yourself truly. And you are the only one who can prove to yourself that you care about your own self-worth. That call comes from inside the house. And once you're able to answer that and act on that and really know your true intentions and be able to show up for yourself, you will be able to do whatever you want. You will be able to do whatever you want because you know it actually matters and will elevate your entire life experience. It's so wonderful to fall in love with your own life and romanticize the whole entire process because life feels like a game. Everything is exciting and invigorating and you always have your base needs met because you're always taken care of. But now everything is, how can it be better? How can I deepen this? When you love learning how to show up for yourself, it becomes a game to see how you can show up for yourself more. You are naturally going to go through different cycles of being motivated and not being motivated. And you're going to go through different energy levels. And it's really important to honor the season of life that you're in. No matter if you're feeling really high or really low, you are going to make yourself a priority and you are going to still be committed to yourself, be committed to your future. You don't need to rely on motivation. You don't need to rely on your circumstances. You are going to be there for yourself. That is the only circumstance that matters. Everything else will fall into place because you will make a place for it. The moment that you understand that you're responsible for your own life is the moment that you have control over your life and are able to make it a creative process. Throw relying on motivation out the window. Decide to choose discipline over motivation every single day and decide to choose devotion over discipline. This is also an affirmation that I say to myself every single morning. I choose discipline over motivation and I choose devotion over discipline. I will always be devoted to myself. I will always be disciplined and I will not rely solely on motivation to make sure my goals are met. And then things will happen for you like crazy. You are the creator of your own destiny. I try this out for a week. I promise you won't regret it. At least a week, three realistic goals every single day and comment them down below. I'm really excited to see you be empowered. I hope this was helpful for all the girls who get really stressed out, who get really overwhelmed by their life, who procrastinate. You have the power to change your life and it is all in whether or not you're going to be committed to yourself. If you can cultivate doing what you say you will do, anything that you want, you will be able to do for the rest of your life. Learn the skill now and you will thank me for it for years to come. Have a great rest of your day. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. Leave a comment. It really helps the channel and we are all about getting this message out to help people be the best version of themselves and live the best version of their life that they can. Have a great rest of your day. Bye guys. Thank you.